The following video is very similar to what we've um, done before. Besides before, what we did is, what's the smallest positive whole number that is a perfect square? Now this problem asks us, what's the smallest one that is a perfect cube? So we have to first think about, what's the difference between a perfect square and a perfect cube? Well, the perfect cubes are when you have things cubed. So for instance, 1 is a perfect cube. 8 is a perfect cube. 2 times 2 times 2, 2 cubed. 27 is a perfect cube. 3 times 3 times 3. 64 is a perfect cube. Uh, 125 is a perfect cube. 216 is a perfect cube. That's 6 cubed. These are all perfect cubes. So if we think again about the prime factorizations, we notice that we got 2 to the 3rd. Uh, 27 is 3 to the 3rd. 64 is 4 to the 3rd, which is the same as 2 to the 6th. 125 is 5 to the 3rd. 2 16th is 6 to the 3rd, but that's the same as 2 to the 3rd. 3 to the third. So just like before, we needed to have even number powers for it to be a perfect cube. You find out to have a perfect cube um, uh, with factors, you have to have a multiple of 3 as your exponent. So for instance, 2 to the 6, I know this is a perfect cube because it's um, 6 is divisible by 3. If I said, is 2 to the 15th a perfect cube? The answer is yes, 2 to 2 to the 5th. And the reason why is 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 5th equals 2 to the 15th. So we need it work when we to, to have a perfect cube we need to have powers of 3. So I ask well what's the smallest positive whole number that is a perfect cube and is a multiple of 24? Well remember if you've got a number that's a multiple of 24 it has to have 24's prime factorization inside its prime factorization. So in this case this prime factorization we did before is 2 to the third times 3 to the first right 8 times 3 is 24. So to find out my answer, all I need to do is manipulate these exponents such that they're all um, multiples of 3. 2 has already got a multiple of 3, so I can leave it as it is. And then this one, I need to add 2 to the 1 to get 3 to the 3rd, and that is a multiple of 3, um, or obviously because it's 3, and so this is a perfect cube, and this is a multiple of 24. So our answer is 2 to the 3rd, our answer is 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 3rd, which equals 216. So 216, which is 6 cubed, that, that we already know that's a perfect cube from here, but 216 is a perfect cube that is also a multiple of 24. 24 times what gives you 216? Well, the answer would be 9. 24 times 9 gives you 216, which shows that it's a multiple. We can do one that's a little harder. Right? We can say, what is the smallest positive whole number that is a perfect cubed and a multiple of 150? Well, remember the first thing you do is look for the prime factorization of 150. And we did this before, but we'll just go through it. 2 goes into 150 75 times. 3 goes into 75 15 times, or 25 times. 5 goes into 25 5 times. And so your prime factorization is 2 to the first, 3 to the first, 5 to the second. To make it a perfect cube, I need all these exponents to be um, multiples of 3. So I need to add two twos. So it's going to be 2 to the 3rd. It's going to be 3 to the 3rd. And then 5 to the 3rd. And so if I multiply all three of these together, that gives me a perfect cube. It's also a multiple of 150 because this is inside there. It is also the smallest because I had to add two new twos. And I had to add two threes and I had to add one five. I didn't add anything extra beside what I had to add uh, exponents wise to give me a perfect cube. So the answer is going to be uh, 8 times 27 times 125, which will give you 27,000. And if you wanted to know what is the cube root of 27,000, it actually turns out to be 2 times 3 times 5, which is 30. And so 30 is the cube root of 27,000. That shows you it's a cube root. And 150 does go into uh, 27,000. So that is your answer, 27,000. That is the smallest positive whole number that is a perfect cube and is a multiple of 150.